Alright, so this is my model. I like to call it my glass half full. I modeled this back when I was in school, 2008. And I'm just going to run through how I uh, modeled this up real quick. Start off at the very beginning here with just a uh, an extrude. Six sides. Move ahead. We've got a couple of fillets on the top, the bottom, the sides. You can see I'm assigning colors to each feature as I move on. Um, I did that after the fact so I can get the look I wanted. Let's move on. The next step was a shell from the top down. And uh, give me one fillet, but I want some more fillets to smooth everything out. So that's exactly what I did next. I then moved on to the holes in the side, created an extruded with uh, five holes vertical. I then created a sketch in the center that I was going to use as a axis for a revolve as I moved ahead. Added the chamfer that I was looking for. Made that red. has a nice uh, effect. Revolved that around all the other sides here. And then added chamfers to all those holes as well, making them red. Now one unique feature that I ended up using is the flex command. You can find this up here to insert. You go down to features and it's under flex. Um, let's investigate this real quick because it's kind of a unique tool. You'll see here that you got a couple of trim planes on the top and the bottom and then you have your node here in the center or what is called the triad located over here on the left. You have bending, twisting, tapering, and stretching. So if I were to increase this to 180 degrees, you'd notice that I get a much different effect than I had last time. It's more rotated. Um, I could take this and I could do bending, tapering. I find that most times that I don't really end up using this tool because I'll design about around a design basis where I'm going to loft from one size to another when I want to taper or um, you know when I do a bend I'm going to use a an arc and then bring whatever I my profile along that arc in order to get what uh, the shape I was looking for. However, um, if you have an imported body that is what I like to call a dumb dumb block, it doesn't have any features over here, you can then use the flex command on that to alter it as well. So if you needed like a cylinder and you wanted to give it a taper but you had nothing to work from, that's one possibility of using the flex command. So, um, there's a couple of things we could do here. Notice that the trim plane on the top and the bottom, you can move these and it will change where the effect starts and stops um, as a distance from the from the or, or, or origin of where the trim plane is. So if I were to put this in at 0.5 inches and then at the bottom here I want to do the same with 0.5 inches. Notice that in my preview it ends up on the top and the bottom where there is no rotation but in the middle you still have that 180 degrees of rotation. So now you can see those boundaries at work. The bottom not being affected, the center being affected, the top not again. Um, so let's roll through this a little bit more. Let's say uh, we wanted to do a bend. And we're gonna keep our trim plates, we're gonna make the top one an inch down. Let's say Let's say we want this 45 degree bend. We have a pipe or something that we're trying to bend. And we have a one inch lead in that doesn't have any effect to the bending. Um, now, maybe you know what your inside diameter is or what your outside diameter. You can then control it by that or you can control it by the degrees you're looking for. You can also move where the triad is based in its three-dimensional space. So if I were to go over here and I would say, let's say I'm going to move the X and I'm going to bring that near the inside face here of what I'm trying to bend. 
Now obviously you'd be working with some sort of things. You know you'd have a one inch diameter of whatever you're working with or be able to uh, calculate it to a point so that you can create a more precise use of this. So I moved this negative 1.5 inches from the center of my thing so now it's 45 degrees on that front edge bending but the bottom should be unaffected and now you start to see where the uses of this flex command may come in handy sometimes so there you have it this bottom having a lead-in section and then the top arcing out at 45 degrees so anyhow that is the glass half full project and if you like what you see make sure to jump over to my channel CAD Chaos and check out what else I've been up to um, and consider subscribing if you want to be updated as I bring new projects and new tutorials every week to bi-weekly. Thank you.